It is Autism Appreciation Month and one local shop is using scent to raise awareness and funds for research. Ash Candles creates one of a kind artisan handmade candles that support families on their autism journey. Owners Eric Duncan and James Arneson join us with more. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for Thank having us. Okay, so you really know this journey firsthand and oh. that was the inspiration behind this whole candle line. Correct. So can you tell us a little bit about your story? So, uh, so uh, you know, it was during the pandemic, and yeah. during that, that time, we got received the diagnosis that our son Ashton was mm -hmm. on the spectrum. And, uh, you know, during the pandemic and lockdown, not knowing what to do, having the resources cut off from us, uh, you know, we just began to Google things and just seeing how we could approach this and help our son, you know, without the aid of any kind of therapists or any other outside sources. So um, one of the items we found was that scents can play a big role in how children that are on the spectrum react, whether it is to regulate them or to just even calm them or soothe them. And so one day Eric decided like, hey, <laughs> I'm going to make candles. And I, you know, as supportive as I am. You're like, like, okay, you honey. <laughs> to me because yeah. I feel like I would just as a parent you're kind of flailing and like you said googling you're trying to figure out your own life but here you are you're like this could be something that could work mm -hmm. right and did you find that a scent a uh, smell did help any so I mean like lavender scents mm -hmm. really yeah. help a lot so we actually started off with like room sprays and like oh. room diffusers uh -huh. so then we want to expand it out into candles because okay. I was very I'm a very crafty person so I was yeah. very interested in making candles so one day, like my husband said, we, he was just like, go for it and do it. So that's how we just started this whole journey. And was it a calming effect? Yeah, it's just because our son, he can get very hyper. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just having that like in the room, that smell, it just kind of relaxed him. And, and I and love that. Out. And of course, I mean, these very stylish candles. I mean, uh, they're beautiful, mm -hmm. but then also the ingredients in the candles are top notch too. Do you want to talk a little bit about so, that? Yes. So all of our candles are handmade by us. Mm -hmm. So we use a... a apricot cocoa cream wax uh -huh. this is different than a regular soy wax it burns cleaner it's very eco-friendly it's vegan based so all of our candles come with a wooden wick so when you light that wick it sounds like a fireplace crackling in the background oh, love the wooden wick yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love it when the, the best the great thing about our candles is one we diffuse the um, fragrance oil throughout the entire candle oh. most companies don't do that if you ever bought a candle before and you've lit it and then the smell goes away it's because they just sprinkle it on the top Okay. Mm. So. so one of the other great things, though, obviously it's a wonderful candle, but we're doing great in the community as well because part of these proceeds are going to help other children and families. Correct. So we pick um, people every year, organizations every year. So our organizations we select this year was the Quantum Leap Academy. Oh, yeah. They're Tell the, us about them. So actually our son was at that school yeah, nice. for a period of time. I mean, the staff is amazing. It's all about collaborating as a team. So we all work together on a, a plan, on an action plan on how to help Ashton with his speech, his uh, OT, yeah. any items that he needs help with. So they were amazing with that. And James, aren't you glad you supported Eric <laughs> when he wanted to start making the candles? <laughs> the support is always there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy and proud of him for doing this and sticking with it because it was a, it was a tough journey, yeah. you know, not just navigating that in our, our other jobs and Ashton, but you know, mm -hmm. he stuck with it and it's something that he enjoys doing and it, it is really about giving back to those that really were there to support us during that time. So And what does Ashton think of this? He's old enough now, second grade I assume, yeah. first yeah. Grade, to mm -hmm. to get it. To get that his dads are doing this for him. I didn't care less. <laughs> really? Uh, give him he's one a, more he's year. He's all about Super Mario Brothers yeah. and Sonic. Yeah. That's his thing. Okay, okay. You're right. I am a second grader too, and I'm like, yep, you're right. <laughs> but I mean, it's got to be a great way to connect to other people, though. I mean, this is must bring you closer to other families that are sharing a similar journey as uh, the two of you. Well, I do a lot of markets in the mm -hmm. Chicagoland area, and you'll be surprised how many people that you meet, even from different states, yeah. that do like autism awareness things, yeah. like for yoga, yoga, and all kind of other programs and just hearing their stories oh, that kind of keeps keeps us motivating and keeps us going doing that's this. so wonderful for more information all you have to do mm -hmm. is head to ashcandles.square.site you can also find them on instagram all the information is right there on your screen